Hey hello everyone so in this video i will be showing you how to copy the contents present in a stack or queue into another one in c++ so let's get started so let me declare a stack okay stack of int let a be our stack okay so let me just push some values into it so let me just push one and let me just push Two and three as well inside it. So two and three. So that's fine. So stack can be like easily copied to another stack by just assigning it. So it's like suppose if you have two variables a and b. So what will you do to store b inside a? So basically you will do a equal to b. That's it. So same thing applies for stack also. So you just copy this, put over here. So it will be going to be stack b. And what you do is b equal to a. So what this does is that all these values will be now stored inside b as well. So let's check that. So let me just print the contents present inside of B. Okay. So while uh, not of B dot empty and C out B dot top B dot pop. So this is how you will print the contents present in a stack. So let me put some space as well. So let me just write it down. I'm getting three to one because like whatever your element you push at first will be like the bottom of a stack so one is at the bottom two uh, second most and three is at the top so that's how it works and i'm printing the contents present inside b okay so this works fine and there's like another way you can do this but uh is to swapping but if you perform swapping it actually just changes the values present inside the original stack so for example if you put swap of a comma b it just swaps the content present in both the stacks uh, A's content will be stored inside B and B's content will be stored inside A. So what this does is that uh, our A will be empty. So that's the problem by using swap. Suppose if you aren't uh, interested in the contents present A after like swapping, you can obviously use this way also. So it's just basically the same as well. So if you just copy this and run it. I'll be getting the same output. But another fact is that now if I just go over here and if I just print C out, uh, a dot size okay so if we put a dot size we'll be getting the output as zero because we have swapped so b is actually like an empty stack okay at first we have only a has three values so after swapping a, a b empty value gets stored in a so a becomes empty now so i'm getting a dot size so in case if you aren't worrying about a's content after swapping you can use this one and for q also it's just pretty much the same just uh, for example, for Q, just go here and change it to Q and Q and just assign B equal to A and just use a while, same while loop, while B dot empty, C out, B dot front, I guess, front is the keyword, B dot pop. So I'll be, getting, uh, I'll be getting the output as one, two, three, because Q is first in, first out, okay, B dot empty. And I will be getting the output as one, two, three. So one, two, three, I'm getting the output as one, two, three. So that's it uh, for this video. And my program channel, I've run many tutorials in C, C++, Python, Java, and Blender, which is 3D animation and UT. So do check out the videos of the channel. It'll be really great if you could subscribe and support me. And thanks for watching.